Hello friends, welcome to my live page. My name is Kushbu Garg and I am going to talk about data migration today. After completing my MCA from UP Technical University, I started my career as a Linux administrator. But later on, I moved on to a business analyst profile. In this profile, I have played different roles like data migration, data analyst, project manager in my various projects. Basically, my work was to provide data solutions, business solutions, and to massage the data according to the organization requirements, and and then to migrate the data onto a different system. Now, let's talk about what is data migration. Data migration is uh, is basically a process of uh, transferring the data from a single storage to an another storage. When is when an organization may require data migration. Uh, mostly the data migration is required when an organization plans to uh, remove the existing system and replace it with the new system. In that case, the data needs to be migrated from an old system to a new system. And secondly, it, it may be required uh, when the application is upgraded. Not necessarily the organization may may plan to uh, to replace the uh, to replace the application, but it may also plan to upgrade the application. In that case, a data migration is required. Now, data migrate. Now let's come on to the process of data migration. Data migration follows a life cycle. All right. Now. Uh, first thing is to assisting the data, analyzing the data, thinking about the data. That that means you need to uh, know where your data is existing, how you will extract the data, and then what all things you need to function upon the data. There are a lot of things which which would need to massage the data. Mm, there can be many redundancy or 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 it may not be according to the system validations. Mostly, uh, when is the requirement of transferring the data from, from an old application to a new application? And the new application data may require a lot of massaging uh, to change the data and to change the data according to the new application. In that case, a data migration is required. Uh, and there are and at this stage lot of assessment and planning is required once we extract the data from an old system and then we sit on the data analyze the data that, that how this data needs to be processed and in in what ways we can automate the data so so that uh, we can we are not required to always migrate it manually so we will what we'll do through some programmings or by applying formulas or anything, we will automate the data so that every time the data is extracted and put in the in the data files and then the data is pros processed automatically by applying certain programming scripts or formulas and then we can directly migrate the data. This is the this is the process of uh, automating the data. Now the second thing comes the planning. Uh, in the planning of the data, uh, what we need to do is we need to plan plan the activities. It may not be possible that uh, uh, in our first cut we we migrate the da data very accurately. The, and data is very crucial part in in any organization. It has to be migrated as it is. The data is present in an old application. Because if there, there is going to be any changes in the data, then it will affect the business of the organization. And that should not happen. As that is why data migration activity is a very crucial activity. It has to be assessed uh, and planned very thoroughly. And uh, to a maximum, a maximum extent, it has to be automated to avoid any human errors. Uh, then comes the migration. Once the data is migrated from one system to another and then it is validated properly. It has to be validated 
through the scripts uh, or through the by applying the certain queries on the database extracting the data from the new system and then comparing it with the old system in that way our data is migrated and definitely uh, planning and validation are the most important parts of data migration now let's talk about the education which is required for becoming a data migration the first thing is the programming 